Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Dark, a 2016 Basel World debut. You can see and purchase this one on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this PVD stainless steel vintage-inspired dive watch. Now the watch is vintage inspired, but with the all black aesthetic, it has a hardcore visual impact that's a little bit divorced and imaginatively so from the 1950s and 60s source material that inspires the Heritage Black Bay. So the watch definitely has a contemporary wrist present downright stark and striking. It looks bigger than its 41 millimeter diameter. That's not inclusive of the oversized vintage style crown. It's fairly chunky, 2.5 millimeters thicker than your Rolex Submariner at 15 millimeters thick. But because of the generously domed lip of the sapphire and the conical profile of the bezel, it will fit underneath most cuffs, including sport jackets, blazers, loose sweaters, and even some dress sleeves. Now the watch has a compact lug to lug dimension at 50 meters across the wrist, so it's an easy one to wear, and in my estimation, you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, especially if your wrist is more oval than round. Now, what Tudor calls the aged calfskin is used in conjunction with the dark case. So you can see the, the grain of it is what Tudor describes as aged. It's a fairly thick cut strap, so very substantial with sheer edges. And on the underside, there's a luxurious suede texture that I find surprising on a utility class watch. But this one is equal measures utility and luxury, and the all black aesthetic really hammers that home. The watch is of a modern persuasion. You can see a full steel deployed clasp, also blackened. It has a clamshell lock for the closure, and you'll even note ceramic retaining beads so that it wears well over the long term and the tolerance of the clasp doesn't diminish. So this isn't gonna wear down this spring bead of ceramic. Small attention to detail like that. The inset design of the Tudor Shield show you that attention and time was lavished on this design. Now the case is stainless steel, black PVD. You can see that the signature bevel of the Heritage Black Bay is still present, albeit somewhat cloaked by the use of the black coloration. Now the bezel is anodized black, unidirectional rotating. You can see that historically evocative splash of red, both on the dial and the bezel pearl. Line it up with the minute hand. This unidirectional dive bezel then gives you an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I find it easier to read at a glance than a chronograph. And of course, in the long term, it's an easy way to gauge the passage of time with your watch less the chronograph servicing costs. So a handsome dial under a sapphire crystal, you can see it's all appliques for the indices. So it does feel like it has more in common with a contemporary Rolex dial than the vintage watches that inspire it. And if you're wondering, think Tudor, 7924 Big Crown. That's the source material for the profile, the proportions in the case, but the all black tactic is thoroughly modern, and you'll even note a little bit of a tribute to the snowflakes in the form of the hour hand, the snowflakes, the late 60s to mid 70s timepieces that ultimately succeeded the watches that principally inspired this. So it's a little bit of a mashup of Tudor styling cues over the years, but because of that, it doesn't come across as a direct retranslation of any of them. It stands on its own four lugs. It has its own identity. Now you'll note it is a chronometer and within the 200 meter water resistant case, first of all, note the irony of both the shield logo and the earlier rose logo, which you can see to good advantage on the same timepiece. Inside, a Tudor manufacture movement. This is the MT5602. It's built much like a Rolex caliber, which is to say it is bi-directional automatic winding for smoothness. It has a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for shock resistance and precision. It's a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It does feature hacking or stop seconds. The COSC chronometer aspect in conjunction with the 70 hour power reserve, making this an accurate and stable timer. And of course, it has something that's still fairly rare in the Rolex catalog today, which is a silicon anti-magnetic hairspring. A handsome watch, a versatile watch, a watch that is proudly going to bestride the eras with one foot in the vintage realm and one in the contemporary realm stylistically. You can see, and you can own this Tudor Heritage Black Bay Dark on our website.